Okay, this is a release technique for your reckless form femoris, your rec fans. So your rec fans on your quadriceps muscles and if you feel on your pelvis, this is a rough guide for you to find them. If you reach round, you'll find a bony prominence at the front. If you kind of think of a line, they're just, they attach actually below that bony prominence, um, about two or three fingers width below, and then they run straight line to your kneecaps, okay? But that's the kind of area you think, just think the front of your thigh, and you're not gonna go too far on, especially if you're using a roller, which is quite broad anyway. So to use the roller, what I'm going to do, I see it's on a couch, it's got a little bit of give, but you wouldn't do it on a soft surface, you'd do it on the floor. So I'm doing my, if I'm doing my neck today, my right knee is just slightly bent, so it's taking the body weight, and I've almost brought myself into a kind of plank position. And then from here, what I can do is put my body weight onto my left leg, and then go to the just above the kneecap and then roll all the way down to just just below that bony prominence on the pelvis okay and I, what i'll do is i'll do two or three sweeps just have a feel of how the muscle is and what i'm looking for is the most tender point so let's say i've done three sweeps and there's my most tender point here i've got a couple of options i can either hang out I can just hang out on this point for 30 seconds to up to two minutes to see if that's enough to get the muscle to release or for the pain to dissipate. Okay. Or what I can do is I can roll slightly above the painful points. The painful points just above the roller now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean my body weight onto my left leg. So that provides a lock. Then I'm going to bring my heel to my bum, and that's the stretch. I'll then hold one, two, and then release. Take the body weight off, return the foot. So it's lock with body weight, stretch with the heel, one, two, release. And I can do up to 12 to 20 of these, just working on that area. And say that's, that's 20. What I can then do is just give it a roll over and then go back onto it and see if that has eased off. If it's eased off, I'll move on to the next one. If it hasn't, I'll probably just hang out on it just for a little bit, see if it will release. The alternate way you can do it is not with a roller, but with a ball. Ball can be a little bit more specific, so you can get into... Generally, I like to do a roller first, just to get everything feeling better, and then you can really hunt for stuff with a ball, especially a spiky one. On the couch, it's not going to give me as much uh, pressure up through this. I wouldn't do this on the couch, I'd do it on the floor. I'm purely using the couch for camera angle reasons. But I'm going to do it in the exact same manner. Everything can be done in the same manner as with the roller. So you can roll the ball all the way down, all the way up. Find the tender point, hang out. If I want to do my, my lock stretch release, I'll bring it just above, lean on, lock, heel to bum, stretch, one, two, release. Yeah, I can carry on with that. It's all the same things we did for a roller, but with the ball. Yeah, they're two different fields. Yeah, and you may find things, particularly with a spiky ball, you didn't find with the roller. But it's a matter of personal preference, and it's a matter of what you've got at home as to what you use. Um, both are available to buy here, by the way. Um, <laughs> so why do we move off the painful point? Just um, what we're doing is by moving off the painful point and then bringing the knee, what we're doing is we're dragging the dysfunctional tissue onto the ball, onto the roller rather than off the ball, off the roller. Okay, and that, that's the reason we do that. But have a play with both, see what you think. Uh, and there you go.